to the Dhamakedar Fadatidar and Vaisdar session by Vedanta Young Wonders, India's leading junior channel. My name is Pitesh. I'm your host, your dose, and a proud master teacher from Vedantu, welcoming you to the Incredible India series. Jya apne aaj baat karsu Gujarat upar. Yes, Gujarat, the state of delicious food, the state of rich culture and rich heritage, a state which is the uh, you know i if i'm not wrong the seventh largest state by area in the country yes so we are talking about gujarat uh, which is one of the most amazing states of india so just like in the previous session uh, we saw some amazing astonishing facts about maharashtra in today's session we'll be seeing some astonishing and amazing facts about gujarat now Gujarat got its name because it was the land of the Gurjar community. So it has got its name from the Sanskrit word, which means that it is the land of the Gurjar community. And that is why the name came as Gujarat. It is the state which had its first port in the world. You know, it had its first port in the world. It also is famous for so many things, so many world records this state has made. It also is India's first state to be completely vegetarian as well as it is a dry state where no alcohol is consumed legally. Also, uh, Gujarat is the state to the Asiatic lions because it has got the Gir forest. The amazing Ran Utsav that takes place every year from November to February takes place in Gujarat. So, in today's session, I have got some amazing, astonishing facts on the state of Gujarat. Let's explore this state of Dhokla, Fapra, Handwa, Jalebi, Chaj and whatnot. Gujarati food is something that we all love and crave for. And I luckily get to taste it every other day because, uh, you know, uh, my wife is a Gujarati. And uh, so I get to taste this delicious food every other day at every function. We have one or the other, one or the other Gujarati dish. Even at home, we keep on preparing Gujarati food. So yeah, I'm lucky in that sense. But anyway, to all the Gujaratis out there, uh, I'm sure you're going to love this session. And if you are, which I'm sure you will, I request all of you to just give this video a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe to Vedantu Young Wonders. It's absolutely free, of course. Just subscribe to the channel. And also, guys, share this video, especially with all your Gujarati friends and family members. Also, let me know in the comment section what more do you know about Gujarat, which I could not cover over here. Some amazing, astonishing facts. And also, do let me know in the comment section what state would you like me to cover next. So, starting with Gujarat, here are some amazing facts. Number one. The world's largest salt desert. Uh, I very, very vividly remember the beautiful advertisement by Amitabh Bachchan on Kuch Din To Guzaro Gujarat Me. In that, one of the advertisements had him at Kutch. So Kutch is, uh, you know, Kutch is towards the end of Gujarat. Let me also tell you that Gujarat has the country's largest coastline of 1,600 kilometers. Right. So towards the end of Gujarat, we have got Kutch. Kutch has got white soil. You know, the land is white in color, which is because of salt. So it is the world's largest salt desert. Every year, as I told you, from November to February, the Ran Utsav takes place where there is an accommodation and activities arranged at the Run of Kutch. And people can enjoy, people come there from different parts of the world to enjoy the Ran Utsav. So this year, you also try to enjoy the Ran Utsav of this incredible state of incredible India. So let us find out a little more about this. Ran of Kutch is a large salt marsh located in the Thar Desert in Gujarat's Kutch district. Spread over an area of 7,500 km square, it is considered to be one of the largest salt deserts in the world. Kutch means something that becomes wet and dry intermittently. So you can see that how beautiful it is. It is completely white. It is completely white and it is Kutch. So Kutchi is also a community who speak a language which is, uh, you know, a little different from Gujarati. So if anyone over there are Kutchis, 
do say a hi in the comment section and i want you to give a small line of hello sir or how are you in kachi that would really be amazing so kachi is a language which is spoken by the kachi community and it is a little different from gujarati now the next amazing fact is that gujarat is a world record holder in many ways right from the world's largest oil refinery to the largest statue in the world that is the statue of unity 182 meters tall so gujarat is a world record holder for many many things like uh, it has got the jamnagar oil refinery owned by the reliance industry is the biggest oil refinery on the planet the alang shipyard in gujarat is the world's biggest ship breaking yard recycling almost half of all the ships salvaged around the world that's so 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 beautiful so also uh, you know our prime minister is from gujarat the richest man in the country ambani is from gujarat who owns the jamnagar oil refinery so jamnagar oil refinery as well as the alang shipyard in gujarat they are the world's biggest the statue of unity is also the world's tallest which is built uh for which is which is the statue of sardar vallabhbhai patel and that is called as the statue of unity 182 meters tall gandhinagar the green the greenest capital city in entire asia so in the entire continent gandhinagar is said to be the uh, greenest the capital of gujarat gandhinagar is considered to be the greenest capital city in asia with almost 50% of its land covered with greenery till 1970 Ahmedabad was the capital city of Gujarat. Gujarat, uh, the people who are living in Gujarat, they are really having such a great time because you know the way the Gujarat government is maintaining the state, the way the Gujarat government is providing the facilities to the residents, it is really commendable. Uh, we'll be talking about more places of Gujarat, but let me tell you, the the state is so clean, the state is so well maintained, the state is so nicely infrastructured that it becomes very. uh you know it becomes a great place for the residents to thrive in uh the electricity that they produce is solar so you know uh, i had read somewhere that uh, they had built solar panels over the river narmada that gave them so much of sunlight and uh, you know uh, so much of solar energy that they did not have to depend on other states for electricity so this is an example that other states of india should adopt and you know make incredible india more and more cleaner greener and better so gandhinagar is the greenest capital city in the entire asia even ahmedabad is super clean but ahmedabad is not the capital of gujarat it is gandhinagar the next is that it is the safest state in india the crime rate in gujarat is lowest as compared to all the states in india after goa gujarat has the least crime rate against women in india. so it is not only the state with the least crime rate but it is also the second safest state for women in india after goa so goa is the safest i didn't know this goa is the safest state for women in india and after goa it is uh, gujarat white revolution so we have already uh, we already know a lot about white revolution burgess curian who how he got the white revolution in india that is to uh, you know take care of the milk consumption so that all indians consume good milk and we all know amul is the taste of india so amul amul comes from anand region in gujarat amul so anand milk union limited so anand milk union limited is nothing but amul anand a m u l anand milk anand milk union limited better known as amul again comes from gujarat is based out of anand in gujarat an indian dairy cooperative amul is managed by the gujarat cooperative milk marketing federation limited it is the it has the largest food products marketing organization in india and it is jointly owned by 3.6 million milk producers in gujarat amul started the white revolution in the country and today india is the world's largest producer of milk and milk products so, wow this is beautiful i'm sure we all have consumed one or the other amul product in our life either it is amul milk or amul cheese or amul paneer or amul amul dahi or you know amul is like everywhere when it comes to milk and milk products amul is one of the world's uh, you know one of the very common known and the desired brand by the consumer that again is you know thanks to the white revolution which was started by amul and also uh, the way they have maintain their quality the way they have reached every house and every corner of the country so again amul comes from gujarat this one is really very sweet 
So we all know how delicious is Gujarati food and how sweet is Gujarati food. Almost, almost like every, like I think more than 95% of Gujarati food has sugar in it. And that is why Gujarat is the state to consume the largest and the highest number of, uh, highest amount of sugar in the country. So, all too sweet in Gujarat. Consumption of sugar is highest in Gujarat as compared to any other state in India. Use of sugar in most of the Gujarati recipes explains this fact. So, uh, you know, most of the Gujarati food, like I said, more than 95% of Gujarati food has sugar in it. And that is why Gujarat is the state which consumes the highest amount of sugar in the country. And this is the last and the very sparkling one. Surat. Surat is the cleanest railway station in the country. It is also very, very super clean city. It is also known for shopping and it is known for the sparkling diamonds. Yes, Surat is the diamond city. It is so much diamond oriented that 8 out of 10 diamonds in the world are polished in Surat. So Surat is the diamond city of the country. Surat is a major world hub for diamond cutting and polishing and is considered to be one of the richest cities in India in terms of per capita income. Almost 8 out of 10 diamonds sold in the world are polished in Surat. It is also the third cleanest city in India after Chandigarh and Mysore. So after Chandigarh and Mysore, which are again very, very clean, very, very well planned cities of the country, Surat is the third cleanest city. It also has the cleanest railway station in the country and also 8 out of 10 diamonds in the world are polished in Surat. So that how that much how busy and that much how engaged and involved is Surat with the diamond world. So these were some amazing, astonishing facts about Gujarat. Apart from that, there is a temple in uh, there is a uh, hill in Gujarat which has got more than eight hundred and fifty Jain temples, all made in marble. This is again super, super, super amazing and astonishing. So definitely, kuch din to guzara Gujarat mein. I urge all of you to just go and explore this beautiful, sweet state of Gujarat, which uh, you know the people are so kind, so friendly, so fun loving, so helpful. And I must tell you one thing that I have definitely learned and, uh, you know, got inspired by from Gujaratis are, they are super fun loving. These people know how to live life. Whether it is India or any part of the world, you will find Gujaratis everywhere, which means they love to travel. They love to live their life completely. They love to eat and that too, they love to eat home cooked food. I remember once I was traveling by train from Mumbai to Goa, and there was a Gujarati family, uh, you know, in that berth, in that particular uh, compartment where I was sitting. And my God, they had carried so much of food and they offered us as well. We unknown people, but they offered us food and the food was lip smacking. And now that I have a Gujarati family, uh, I know how much food we carry when we travel. And uh, you, so food is never a shortage. Well, if you know, you know, uh, I'm sure all of you might be having one Gujarati friend. So if you know uh, any Gujarati, you know that you're never going to fall short of food if you're traveling with a Gujarati. So love and uh, lots and lots and lots of love to all the Gujaratis out there and to all the amazing Indians out there. Wishing all of you a very, very happy and a proud 75th Independence Day and uh, hope India just rises and shines and glorifies in the entire world forever, forever and forever. So with that guys, I come to the end of this session. Do not forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe to Vedant to Young Wonder. Share this video, especially with all the Gujaratis and everyone whom you know, right? So Kuch Din To Guzaro Gujarat Me. This is Pritesh, your host, your dose and a proud master teacher from Vedantu signing off for now. This is Incredible India series. Wishing you all once again a very happy Independence Day. Jai Hind. Take care.